This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a Mila dishwasher that is flooding the kitchen floor. So it's overfilling and then the water comes out the edges of the bottom portion of the door because the water is going up too high and we're going to go over how to correct this be pretty easy make sure you stay till the end of the video so you can see all the details so if we open the door and we think about where the water comes in here to the left there's this round piece and you may notice if you have a leaky valve that water just keeps dribbling in there even when it's unplugged water should come up to right here just below this handle if it comes above it then you're getting too much water and water will leak out and flood your dishwasher floor so we're going to go over how we can correct this problem. First thing we'll do is take out these screws here that are either on the sides of the frame or on the top of the frame that are holding the Mila dishwasher into the cabinet. A lot of times once you get these screws out, you can just slowly pull the whole dishwasher out and you don't have to do a lot more of disconnecting because usually they give you a lot of uh, fill line and also drain line. So I'm kind of wiggling it out. I also have this piece at the top, which is like a trim piece I have to remove. Most, most times you don't have that. I just get that out of the way and I'm just going to wiggle this out. I'm going to keep checking to make sure I have enough drain line and fill line so I can get this out without having to disconnect anything. I do want to make sure I unplug it though, so I'm taking the power cord out. I do have the water turned off also at the water valve underneath the sink. So this one has a fill valve located behind the dishwasher. Usually the fill valve will be located underneath the sink. In this case, it's right here behind the dishwasher. So I'm gonna take these uh, cords off that are holding it. And this is an aftermarket fill valve that had been put on at some point um, usually it's a uh, Mila fill valve that will leak eventually and just let water sneak in. In this case, this is an aftermarket one. And I'm now uh, switching it out with another fill valve, which is not a Mila fill valve, but it's made for a Frigidaire dishwasher that works just as well, but is a lot uh, less expensive. They're only about $25. So I've got that new fill valve installed and I'm going to check out now if that's going to do the trick if the dishwasher will fill properly. So I'll go ahead and plug it back in. I'll turn the water back on and I'll start a cycle and just see how high the water goes. It should go ideally just to the height of the white plastic handle for the triple filter. If it goes higher, then we know that uh, the fill valve is not working properly and letting too much water come in. When the fill valve stop working, either don't let enough water come in or they don't have any water come in or they leak a little bit, they don't close all the way and they let a tiny bit of water continue to come in even when the dishwasher is unplugged, which I think what was happening on this dishwasher. So we've replaced the fill valve with this aftermarket one. I'll put a link in the description below, but these are only about $25. And again, normally you would find on the Mila dishwasher this fill valve arrangement underneath the sink. And this one's just located on the back. So we've got it strapped back into position and we're gonna go ahead and test it to see how high the water gets um, after doing a cycle. And now I'm just gradually pushing the dishwasher back into the cabinet. So get in there nice and flush. All right, we're gonna check to see how the water level is now. We've been running it for a little bit stop filling 
So I'll pull the basket out and it should be just kissing the bottom of the white plastic filter handle. Yeah, right there. So that's perfect. That's exactly the right amount of water. And again, when these fill valves aren't working, they'll tend to let in more than that. And that'll either flood the drip um, pan below the dishwasher, or it may uh, have water actually leak out onto the um, floor, which happened in this case. Yeah, that's a really good level. So this is something you can check too while you're working on your dishwasher. You can look at the air gap to make sure nothing is clogged there. So I remove the top and then I'm going to press in on these tabs and remove this plastic piece on the top to see if there is something maybe caught in the drain system. This is just something to do anytime you work on your dishwasher to make sure that the drain system is working well. So I'm gonna look in there and that tube in the middle, small tube looks really good. Nothing seems to be caught in there. If you did see something, you could just pull it out, throw it in the sink and then put it back together and then most likely your dishwasher will drain really well. Mila dishwashers very seldomly have something go wrong with their drain motor. They tend to last a long time, but sometimes the drain system, especially if they have an air gap, will get clogged. And again, easy to resolve. Just pull off the top, pull out the debris, put the top back on, and then put the silver piece back on. This dish, this house actually has two Miele dishwashers that are one on the right, one on the left of the sink. So this is for the one on the right side. And do the same procedure. Gonna pull that off and then look in that little hole, make sure it's nice and clear. It looks good. And you could just pull out something if it was in there. We'll put that top back on. And then we'll go ahead and put the silver cap back on. Make sure the opening of the cap points toward the sink so that it water if it ever backed up, could drain right into the sink. I'll check a couple more things while we're here. So we're going to look at that level, looks great. I'm gonna pull out the uh, lower spray arms and make sure all the little holes here on the spray arm are nice and clear. If you see a little bit of debris caught in there, you can just pinch it and pull it out or maybe use a pair of needle nose pliers to get it out. Pull out the triple filter here. Looks good. And I'm gonna push down on this tab and move the one-way valve, the one-way drain valve out to my right. When I look in here, I notice that this ball bearing has something else in there too, like a little tab of plastic that's not supposed to be there. Sometimes you'll find seeds in there too. But when things get caught in there, the um, ball bearing is not able to sit down with gravity into the rubber gasket. So water that had drained through the drain tube on its way out of the dishwasher can then flow back into the dishwasher and that can cause your dishwasher to get flooded. So probably this dishwasher was being flooded not as a result of a bad fill valve, but probably just this little piece of plastic that got stuck in here. So I took, took this apart by pulling the two sides apart, took out the rubber gasket, and there's the ball bearing. There's a little piece of plastic in there. Well, I got that. This video is helping you. Please consider pressing down in the lower right-hand corner of your screen the subscribe button, and that really helps our channel. So now I'm using a small glass to get out any water that's stuck into the sump area here underneath the triple filter. There should always be water in there though. That's nothing, that doesn't mean anything's wrong with your dishwasher, but I wanna get it out so I can carefully check the impeller. That's the drain impeller to make sure nothing's caught down there. So to get a good look, I wanna use my turkey baster to suck out any water that might be in there, put it into this little cup and then put it into the sink. And then I can look down in there and I can move the impeller with my finger and make sure that nothing is impeding its movement. Like sometimes you get a seed or something stuck in underneath it or a little chunk of a broken wine glass. And you wanna be able to pull that out and help your dishwasher to drain better. So for this dishwasher, there was nothing caught underneath the drain impeller. What was causing the problem was that little piece of plastic that was caught underneath that ball bearing 
It was letting water come in through the drain and that's what was causing the flood. So now it's working great. For watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Thanks Feel free again. to contact me at the email listed below, which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions. And also if you need to have a uh, FaceTime meeting with me or a Zoom meeting, you can click on one of the links below in the description and we can set up a 15 minute or 30 minute video conference where we can work on your appliance problem. So thanks again for all your support and for watching the video.